Ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to no other than Monday Night Raw. gentlemen we have one half of the Raw Tag Team Champions Robert Roode and what a crazy fatal four-way match or should I say a fatal four-way tag team match that happened with Dolph Ziggler getting the victory for the Dirty Dogs to become newly crowned tag team champions but as of right now he'll be taking on none other than Jey Uso Wrong. And I totally forgot to put this back in all oh, audio, but anyway, here we go. With that Samoan drop, that big old Samoan drop by Jay Uso. And now here we go, look at this. Oh! I should have done with that Dudley Dog. Here we go. Oh, counter. Beautiful counter there by Robert Wood and not falling with a knee drop. Get that counter. Bulldog and then got knee drop. And now here we go with the. With the next now. Yeah, that's what's called. I was thinking for too long. I am so sorry. Anyway, Robert Wood on the second rope. Oh. Nicely done with the missile drop kick. Yeah, here we go. Jay Uso turned away on Robert Rude's head. Jay Uso up top. Look at this. Oh! Caught him with the back sent on. Here we go. Oh! Jay Uso. Taking care of Robbie Wood and another elbow drop. Here we go, got him on 
The corner after Yaga Schmidt. Robert Rude moved out the way. Rude going for a suplex. No. Counter into a German. Oh, caught him with that. Super kick. I thought he did that roll up, but it was a rope break. Here we go. Oh, caught him with the Uso splash. One, two, three. No. It was a two count instead. Pounding on Jey Uso, I mean, pounding on Robert Roode, but now Robert Roode got the, got the advantage now, and the Huds is on too, wow, the Huds are on, you've got to be kidding me. Oh, that got to be fixed as well. Jason back in the ring. Same thing for Robert Rude. Oh, and a hard chop. Right to the chest. Look at that with the nut hole stomps. By Robert Rude. Captain Glorious DDT on Jey Uso pinfall. One, two, no. And Jey Uso has kicked out at two. Rude on the second rope. Here we go. Oh, nicely done. Into that float over net breaker. And I'm going for another glorious DDT. Going for the pin. No, it was a rope break. My goodness. There we go. Oh, go for that suplex. Not rude. Here we go, Netbreaker. And now here we go, Super Kick. The Super Kick connects on Robert Rude. And now going for the pin. One, two, three, no. My, my, my. And now here we go, go to the top rope. For another Uso splash. Pinfall. One, two, three, and it's over. And ladies and gentlemen, Jay Uso gets the victory over Robert Rude. Well, ladies and gentlemen, get ready for our next following contest of. The APA, Bradshaw and Farouk, as they take on Eric and Ivar, the Viking Raiders. And that, folks, is next. The following contest is a tag team match scheduled for one fall on the way to the ring at a combined weight of 565 pounds. Farouk and JBL, the A.P.A. So ladies and gentlemen, we have John Bradshaw, Lee Food, and Farouk, the A.P.A. 
the acolytes potation oh god I, I actually said it wrong what the hell anyway my lips are dry but anyway the acolytes protection agency is here and these guys will be taking on none other than the viking raiders but i will say this john bradshaw layfield had a World Heavy Championship match at SummerSlam against Matt Riddle. And their opponents at a combined weight of 552 pounds, Ivar and Eric the Viking Raiders. Well, yes, JBL had a World Heavyweight Championship match against Matt Riddle. But Riddle retained the big gold. And don't forget that the APA won a number of tennis match for the Royal Tag Team Championships. But that was sadly due to JBL winning the number of tennis match for the World Heavyweight Championship in that fatal four way. is off in the bottom of the screen this time so here we go oh that breaker oh here we go wait a minute oh here we go oh wait no on the shoulders oh big powerful maneuver I thought he just did a a torture wreck slam and now here we go big power bomb by Ivar here we go wait a minute and now JBL oh wait no he's about to grab the leg but he got hit by the elbow. And look at this. Oh! GTS board buster. Yeah, here we go. Oh! Nicely done with that power slam. Tags in Farouk. Tags in Eric. Well, here we go, look at this. Oh, puts him over onto the thigh. Knee strike. Am I ever taking control? Over uh, Farouk, but now with the tag. Ever trying to do his best to do the headbutt, but it ain't working. Look at this, Farouk with the strength. Lifting him up halfway, but he just took him down. JB up top, but he's about to go for that shoulder block. No. Now Ivar with the Irish whip to the corner. Now here we go. Thrust in the shoulder. Not once, but twice right across the midsection. Back elbow by JBL. You know what, you know, let, let's, let's call him Bradshaw, you know, let's just call him Bradshaw. But if he's the wealthy man himself, then he's JBL. Let's just call him Bradshaw in tag team matches. Oh, low kick right to the low leg. And now Bradshaw with the knee. And now here we go, wait a minute. Elbows right across the chest. 
And then here we go. Oh, got the kick from Eric. Kicked him right to the back of the leg. And now Brasho with the sidewalk slam. Tags in for Rook. I'm not gonna lie to you, both teams are actually doing something smart. Tagging their partners left and right. Ladies and gentlemen, we have our main event tonight. We have none other than the number contender for the World Heavyweight Championship, the A-lister, the Hollywood star man himself. Oh! Hi! Roundhouse kick, one, two, no. Bradshaw breaks the cover. It will be the Miz as he goes one on one against Mr. Monday Night, the man that returned not too long ago, Rob Van Dam. And look at this. Oh, for who comes out of nowhere with a big old spine buster. And I go for the pin. One, two, three, no. Almost had the three count right there, folks. And I bet you that's been tossed over the top rope to ringside by Eric. Ooh, hard kick to the back. You see those two men. Look at this, Eric. Oh! My goodness, a modified back exploder. Too bad, Shaw. Kick in the section. Baruch, wait a minute. No. Knee strike. Big boot. Big boot to Ivar. Look at this. Oh. Nicely done with the shotgun knee. And no. Bradshaw. That's broken up. And now Eric. Paying attention to Bradshaw. But not paying attention to. Farouk sending him up. Power driver. Yeah, here we go, stomping the wrist. Here we go. It's time for the Dominator. By Farouk, cover one. No, not even. Ivar. Got into the ring in time. Look at this. Oh, wait, no. The body weight of Ivar. And now here we go. Tags in Bradshaw. APA. They say to the general manager that they want the tag team titles. Probably next week. Oh. One. Two. No. Or an unforgiven. That's what the APA was talking about with the general manager. But the general manager did say that they can't go into unforgiven like that. But he did say that the APA can. Be in the tag match next week against the Usos. It's the pen. If the APA does win, they will be added into the match as a triple threat tag team match. But if the APA loses, oh! They have to wait until after I forget what which is all they have it. But they got a few choices. Either they beat the Usos and be a part of the tag team match, the tag team title match at Unforgiven. Or oh Spine Buster to Eric. Then fall one, two, no, and Eric kicks out. Or if they do lose, they gotta wait until Halloween Havoc. Oh! The next week, APA versus the Usos. And now here we go. Oh! 
Release gut wrench power bomb and out here we go with the discus for a while. Tags in Eric. Oh no. I run up top. This is not good. Oh! Both knees went up. Both knees went up. On to Farouk. Well, by Farouk, I should say. Oh, lean back. He leaned back for that one. Yeah, here we go with the hard chop. Here we go. Oh! Power slam. I mean, a pump handle slam to release. Pump handle slam. And now here we go with the big splash. A standing big splash on to Bradshaw. And here we go. Here we go. It's time for the Viking experience. Cover one, two. Three and no. I don't know how the hell that happened, but the Viking Raiders has just won the match. Here are your winners, Ivan and Eric the Viking Raiders. Ladies and gentlemen, the Viking Raiders has won this tag match here tonight. But ladies and gentlemen, get ready. our next contest. back and here we are with none other than Carrion Cross and Scarlet this guy's been dominating people left and right with a cross jacket well, you see we're gonna have someone that is also similar with some missions as well here on Raw and we haven't seen him in almost two and a half months and his name is none other than Dex Loomis Versus Dex Lewis for the first time ever. Who's gonna submit who? And his opponent from Raycloose, Wyoming. Weighing in at 239 pounds, Dexter Loomis! Oh, we have Dexter Loomis. Man, that is the most creepiest man 
who's always quiet. Always quiet. him up on his shoulders oh takes him right to the ring post I mean not the ring post the top turnbuckle head first and now here we go oh the ring post already dominated on Dexter give him a knee strike and then into it at hard clothesline and now here we go just taking advantage over Dexter Now here we go. Oh. Here we go. Oh. Nicely done there with that big northern light suplex. And now here we go. Wait a minute. Dexter with the right hand. Look at this. Oh. Look like he just went for probably a diver clothesline or maybe a short block. I cannot tell. That was way too close. But I did see the hand. Extended to the side. Jawbreaker. Oh, run the shoulder block. Yeah, here we go. Do you apply to the back? Chin lock. Look at this. Oh, he missed the kick. The few hits, the strikes by Dexter. Oh, right hand by Carrying Cross. Oh, block. Look at this. Oh, swoop slam. No miss. Oh, leg drop. Ladies and gentlemen, after this match, that we'll be having Rhea Ripley as it goes one on one against Becky Lynch. And now look at this. Wait, no. Numis had him in a hold. And, oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. He was getting distracted by Scarlett. Here we go, wait a minute, no! Now here we go! About to put the silence into Carrion Cross! The submission is locked in! Wait a minute, Carrion! Carrion! Oh look at this, Scarlet! Scarlet! Distracting the referee. Oh! She was just on the ring apron. And now here we go. Oh my god. Kevin Cross. And now here we go. Here we got the cross check. Get locked in. On Loomis. He's trying to escape. The hold is locked in tight. And no, Loomis takes care of it. And look at Scarlet once more on the ring apron. Ruffy's not even paying no mind to Scarlet. I don't know what the hell's going on. And now here we go. Look at this modified back exploder. Here we go. Oh. Got wrench. And now here we go. Here we go. Bam! Caught him with that axe handle. A double axe handle. Wait a minute. Scarlet just put a chair inside of the ring. My goodness. Now look at this. He's going for the cross-check, and again! 
Cross check on Loomis. I don't know if he's struggling or not. I can't tell. And Dexter Loomis. And look at this, the referee. Referee, look. Look. One, two, three, and it's over. And Karrion Cross has knocked out Dexter Loomis with the Here cross jacket. Gentlemen, the end of the days are coming for anyone that takes on Karrion Cross. But ladies and gentlemen, get ready for the Raw Women's Champion, Becky Lynch. Take it on, Rhea Ripley. We have Rhea Ripley into the mix. Taking on the Raw Women's Champion, Becky Lynch. And Rhea Ripley, who, who is a former Raw Women's Champion, who defeated Tony Stone for the championship. But then Rhea Ripley lost it. To Becky Lynch. After she defeated Natalia for the World Wars Championship in a successfully defense at the Elimination Chamber. Hit it. Gentlemen, there will be some new changes. And from Dublin, Ireland, the Raw Women's Champion, Becky Lynch. Ladies and gentlemen, there will be some new changes after Unforgiven. Yes, right after Unforgiven, there will be some new changes. Once you lose the championship match, you cannot have a title rematch. You don't, well, actually, you can have a title rematch. But only one title rematch per loss of losing the title. I just say. So here we go. Oh! You know, have not been seen on Raw as of late. Will be appearing more often. Oh! Having more opportunities. In the words of Shane McMahon, it is the land of opportunities. He will give you what you want. <laughs> Even though Shane McMahon didn't say that, but Triple did say that. But anyway, Rhea Ripley with the offense. Leg drop. Oh, right hand strike blocked by Becky. Kicked in the midsection. Oh, and a slap to Rhea. My, my, my. Now, here we go. Oh. Sends her over the top rope. I'm inside. I'm just now at one. Ripley. Out of the ring. And now, Becky then sends Ripley to the commentary table. Now, here we go. Look at this. Oh. Two-handed choke slam. Uh, Rhea Ripley. Now here we go. No. Counter the double. 
the double arm butterfly suplex. I should have said the double on the hook uh, suplex, but the hook is now at six. Ooh. The is now at seven. These two women need to go back in the ring. Hope is now at eight. Ripley back in the ring now. Hope is now at nine. Becky, back in the ring. She is back in the ring, and now here we go. Going for this beautiful, stalling vertical suplex. And here we go. Oh, Carter with the rip tied. And now here we go, Becky. Becky going for the manhandle slam. Wait a second. Ripley counters it. Counter the manhandle slam. One. Oh no. Oh crap. Here we go with the prison trap. No. Becky with the leg sweep. Disarmor. Disarmor locked in. The disarmor is locked in. By Becky. Oh my goodness. Here we got Ripley. Knee strike, close line. And another close line, and a third. Becky at the corner. And now Ripley bashes the head of Becky. Right to the top turn buckle. Turns her over. And now here we go, wait a minute. Oh, Becky. Becky with the running right shoulder block. Oh wait, no. My God. Carter with that again. With the riptide going for the pin. One, two, three, and it's over. And Ripley gets the win. Folks, Ripley is the winner, but now it's time for the main event of Rob Van Dam taking on the Mans. Number one contender for the World Heavyweight Championship. They'll be taking on Riddle for that title at Unforgiven. But right now, his main focus is none other than the return of Rob Van Dam. Weighing in at 
That last week, Orphan Dam has returned to Monday Night Raw, but lost to Murphy. Who is formerly the number pretender, well, not number pretender, formerly the Intercontinental Champion. But Robert M did say that it doesn't matter if he goes back to the tag team title division or the Intercontinental Championship picture or probably the World Heavyweight Championship. Here we go with the Miz taking on Rob Van Dam. Both former Money in the Bank winners, WWE champions, tag team champions, intercontinental champions. But Rob Van Dam is the only man to hold both the ECW. Oh, double X handle from the top by the Miz. But don't forget, Rob Van Dam is also the only man to hold both. The ECW and WWE Championship. Oh. Here we go. Oh, nicely done with that springboard moonsault. Two. No. Miz. Miz taking control. Going with those egg kicks. And he gets it. Another Miz. Here we go. Oh! Went for the diving elbow off the second rope, but missed. Oh, rubbing them with the DDT. Here we go. Oh, standing moonsault. Missed. Ooh. Planted the head right onto that knee. Oh, missed the drop kick. Over them and another GDT. Now Rob Van Dam getting ready for the rolling thunder. And not go for the pin. One, two, no. Check out that two. But oh, Robin Dam's not done yet. He's up the top rope. Five star frog splash. One, two, three, no. Almost had the three count right there. And now here we go. Springboard moonsault missed. Here we go with the Miz. Bowen now is submission. Another Miz. Dragon Raw Van Dam. The figure for a leg lock. And now here we go, Rob Van Dam. Rob Van Dam countered it. And then here we go, ooh, Northern Lights suplex by Rob Van Dam. Ooh, knee strike. Look at this, oh, they both miss. Rob Van Dam missed the kick in. I think the miss is trying to go for a uh, running knee strike. Standing Musso. Hit the arm. Rock with them up top. Look at this. Diving Musso to the Miz. Going for the pin. One, two, no. And the Miz has kicked out at two. And the Rob Van Dam. 
Why did it, why would they go for a submission? <clears throat> the best gets off of it. Now here we go. It's going up top. Oh, diving elbow drop right to the back. Here we go. Oh, five star front match right to the back of the Miz. Pitfall one, two, three, and it's over. And Rob Van Dam gets the win. And there you have it, folks. With the victory like that, that was just beautiful. Brother Jimmy, we'll see you guys next week for more Monday Night Raw.